guys, welcome back. So the uh, elevator lowered their moisture limit on beans. It was 18, they dropped it to 14%. So we don't have any beans dry, not that dry. So we decided to switch to corn and we moved across the river. So on this side of the river, we got a little over 300 acres. And uh, the weather is supposed to be good for the next five or six days. So man took off from his uh, off farm job. I took leave from the military all week. So hopefully we all be able to put a pretty good dent in our acres over here.
today's been a pretty good day. Unfortunately, though, it's about to come to an end because the elevator closes at six o'clock. So it's about a quarter after six now. We're gonna load up the trucks. And call today, at least for harvest. We may have to pick a load of pumpkins, I don't know yet. But all in all, a really good day. No lines at the elevator. We, one of our trucks did break down. Luckily, it was in the field and ended up being just a blown fuse. So we'll hit her again tomorrow. Good morning. Back with you the next day now. It is uh, 0930. So last night, we uh, filled up both the trucks, the combine, and the grain cart. So me and Van took those loads in this morning. And uh, everything's still pretty wet. We're right along the river, so we got a pretty heavy fog again. Uh, normally, we'll wait a couple hours, but the boss said it's dry enough, we're going to start early. So that's what we'll do. So just pretend I didn't say that. It looked like he went about 100 yards and turned around. So either he's broke down or it was too wet. All right, so we run these stock choppers and you can see they're not real even. That's because we broke a couple bolts that kind of hold them in place. So shouldn't be a big deal as long as we can find a bolt that'll fit in there. Finished up the 52 acre field across the road and then moved everything over here. We got a 86 acre field over on this side of the road and then that'll finish us up for corn on this side of the river. Uh, so I just figured up all the way tickets and the field that we just left ended up making 230 dry bushel per acre, which considering the uh, ground over there, it's a lot of gravel on it. It floods a lot. I'm pretty happy with that. So Van's boy CJ just showed up from school. He's gonna run the grain cart for a little while. Dad and Van are still in the truck. Uncle Speed's in the combine. So I'm gonna jump in the combine with, with Uncle Speed and we'll see if we can't get his thoughts on the harvest so far. What do you think of the 
crop so far. Looks like some of the best corn we've ever had. Figured up the weight tickets from the highway field. If you had to guess, what would you say it made? Well, I want probably 230. 230. Yeah. That's good. Dry. Dry. That's good. I came off the gravel ground. Would you say that's the best corn you've seen in that field? I'd say it is. Must have had a lot of rain and it was planted real early and things were just right. So with 230 bushel an acre corn, that might just pay for the fertilizer and the fuel it took to grow, huh? Yeah, it'll come close, but I don't know. The fuel bill and fertilizer bill. Rain car full? Yeah. Tear up anything? Not yet. Hopefully not. Sweet. Van's boy, CJ, he's 15. He's riding solo in the combine. And then my son, Luke, he's 14. He's riding solo in the grain cart. And they wanted me to get some footage of them dumping on the go. So they have never done this before by themselves on their own. So we're going to see what happens. I'm predicting they spill about 10 bushels. And also keep in mind the bosses left or they would never let this happen.
Good so far. They didn't hit each other, I'll call that a win. All right guys, so I'm here. Uh, we're gonna do a little post dump interview. So I will tell you that they did dump about, I told you guys I predicted 10 bushel, it was only three or four. So all in all, not too bad for the first try. All right boys, so tell us what happened on that first attempt. So I was going four mile an hour, but he, he too fast. It was his fault. <laughs> so, Luke, what's your story? Well, there's too much happening. Okay. I got up there. I was going five mile an hour, get up to him, and then uh, I tried. I was too busy looking. At, I didn't want to spill enough grain, and then it just all went bad from there. All right, but you guys did way better on the second try. Yeah. All right. Good job. You gotta learn somehow. I'll go get some shovels and pick that corn up. Alright guys. Turned out to be another pretty good day. Got a lot done. The uh, elevator's closed now. Trucks are full. Combine's full. Grain cart's full. So we're going home. If you tuned in because uh, you want to see some flying action, sorry, I hope you're not disappointed, but uh, this video didn't have any. The video before didn't have any. And the next couple videos probably won't have any. But I promise you I'll get you some here in the next couple weeks. But as always, thank you again for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Until next time, where?